That would have been bad. Kaylee would have been mad at me if she would have realized that I had the little red light on. Okay, so yeah, linear algebra, starting again. We're going to be studying stuff of what happens in linear spaces. In other words, what can we do in planes and think about things? And it's going to be connected to vectors and has lots of applications. But for the most part, what we're going to start with is looking at something that you've done before linear equations. So it's dealing a lot with lines. And the reason it has a lot of applications is because when things travel, a lot of times they travel in straight lines or in curved lines and different things. And we have linear equations, y equals mx plus b. And a system of linear equations is when you have m equations with n things that you don't know. Usually we've had two equations with two unknowns. But you could have, in three-dimensional space, three equations with three unknowns. And we could keep going. Now, if you don't have enough equations, you can't solve it. In other words, if I said, solve y equals 5x plus 3, well, you'd say, the only thing you could say is that's a line. And there's lots of answers that make that work. When x is 2, y would have to be 13. But that's not the only solution. There's an infinite amount of solutions. If you want only one solution, you would need another line. And then those two lines would cross, and that intersection would be the solution. And you've learned these techniques. In the beginning, it started just a review. We forgot an equal sign here. So in your notes, add equals 0. And I want to see if you remember how to do this. So I'll give you some time just to see if you can find out what the value of x and what value of y make this true. Excellent. So we got the, the y was 14 and the x was 13. x is 14, y is 13. Right. <laughs> there we go. All right, and then so what this means is these were both lines, and what we just found was the point of where those two lines intersected. We have our x coordinate and we have our y coordinate. 